is ridiculous, Monica, and I don't think... Ladies and gents. Couldn't be referring to us. Oh, could be. Early morning tomorrow anyway. Yeah, right. Well, thank you for the beer. Dad? Dr. Quarterly. Hello, are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Ordinary joint on an ordinary night. Well, not according to your father. I mean, what did you do that infuriated him so much? Uh, actually, it was my fault 100% completely. And I'm sorry to drag you out here this late at night for nothing. What he means is by now it's nothing. Colton and father just had a disagreement. Well, you and Larry had a fight? What on earth for? I'll explain uh, to her, Colton. Why don't you go ahead and take off? I'll, uh, I need to talk to Aunt Monica anyway. Okay. Good night. See you. I disagree with Colton on one crucial issue. What? Being sorry that you came over here. Look, um, I came to, to find out whether you were okay or not, and obviously you are, so I'll... Go on back home. Okay, well, just, just one minute. Wait here. your father. Why do you keep talking about things that I don't want to talk about? Uh, because this is why I'm here. Well, that's not why I say. Look, you're not going to get anywhere with your father unless you both come to some sort of agreement on what your positions are, you know. Well, maybe we can. I think after tonight, I think I understand him a little better. I really could feel what he was going through. Well, hey, well that's great. That's wonderful. I'm just, what happened? Well, when Dad came in and saw Ariel in Colton's arms. He went bananas and tried to deck him. <laughs> Your father and, and Colton fought? <laughs> Dad was lucky to walk away. But all I could think about is how crazy it makes me every time I see Alan touch you. Look, um, I have to go. I really do before I, I just... What? Never mind. 